if like an African woman, okay, I'm not married in my 40, how is that impacting you? Or how is that impacting society in general? Either positively or negatively. How can my personal life, okay, impact society or impact you in general just because I'm not married at 40? So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's just go straight into this video, okay? So I came across this post, okay? And it said marriage in Africa is considered a top most listen to that top most okay and preserve culture for young women and men to get married let me drop it down okay so before i go into this video okay this is some juicy stuff that you don't want to miss okay when it comes to culture do you know the culture of your land okay <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you like what you see why don't you go ahead and hit on that subscribe button okay and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so each time i post a video you want to be the first to know okay so let's go straight into this video yeah but like i was saying okay so marriage in africa is considered a top most <laughs> i guess priority let me put it that way okay and it's a preserved culture for young men and women to get married okay it says being single at age 40 causes commotion in the family and also in society as people move away from different perception about the individual even without her knowledge oh jesus christ i don't get it okay i don't get it that is a person's personal life okay if they choose to get married that should be their business moreover i don't know uh, people get several reasons as to why they don't want to get married so yeah culture wise i understand about culture like, ah, but <laughs> heritage okay where you're coming from your culture okay keep that lineage you want to get married you want to have kids you want to uh, you know what i mean but i've literally come across people okay that don't want to get married don't want to have kids okay even back home in africa but people will look at such people like they're crazy okay like, like they're crazy they're mentally deranged like something is wrong with them when they say they don't want to get married they don't want to have kids what makes society to even let me say let me not say society let me just say culture okay because it has to do with culture culture is not a bad thing you know what i mean but i feel like it's an individual's personal life okay it's their personal decision to decide on if they want to get married or if they don't want to have kids okay so let's go let me talk about it so in name like seven celebrities okay nigerian celebrities that are like either not married or don't have kids in their 40s okay and they're just kind of like wondering when they're gonna get married that's not your business when they get married if they don't want to get married they're not gonna get married <laughs> none of your business society okay first person that the name was nonso diobi okay <laughs> if you know if you know who nonso diobi is okay I may tag it up here, okay, so you guys can see him if you don't know him, okay? He's a cute gentleman, okay? And I love, like, his, the way he handles his words in movies, okay? The next one is... Can, can they just talk without putting my girl there? Rita Dominic, okay? If you know Rita Dominic, classy. If you have classiness, okay? Classy lady, okay? Know that she'll be right there, okay? Like, how is that your business, Okay? You gonna put my girl there don't don't include my girl okay we're not caught up for this we're not caught up for the third person bimbo akin akintola i hope i pronounced it well okay if i can i'm gonna like put the pictures right there so yeah i can see who i'm talking about and they're gonna call frederick leonard really yeah leave him alone okay he's a cute handsome okay then it's not an issue of like getting married like if you want to get married tomorrow, I believe he can just get married tomorrow because he is so cute that nobody can say no to, okay? No to. The next one, Kate Henshaw. Yeah, leave all these beautiful ladies alone, okay? Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop, okay? They can get married if they want to. If they don't want to get married, it's their personal choice. Respect that society. Who came up with all these society rules, okay? Who, who did? Show me that person. Who did? Who did? Uh, people don't have like personal choices you should be able to have make a personal choice like do i want to get married i don't want to get married hmm? do i want to have kids 
I don't want to have kids. Hey, in African culture, <laughs> B, you don't have kids. <laughs> They will swear you do on your head that something is wrong with you. You don't want to have kids. <laughs> the next one is Jim Ike. Okay, so <laughs> oh my god, they had to put my lady there, Genevieve Nanje. Yeah, stop. Okay, yeah, I've been doing too much for the past how many years with Genevieve. Okay, she got a daughter. Okay, she she got a daughter. Okay. Who is married and she's now a grandma okay so if she don't want to get married in her 40s none of your business okay that's her personal decision marriage is headache okay what no 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 don't get me wrong okay don't get me wrong marriage is a beautiful thing if you meet like the right person okay but if you meet or you make an attempt to meet the wrong person okay it can leave a scar in your heart that can never go away in it can even influence your decision of like <laughs> forget marriage my sister forget that thing <laughs> i know i'm not caught up for that thing okay but all i'm saying is this okay how can you like i know like when it comes to like africans like culture wise like they're so deep let me put myself there because i'm an african how am i talking like this so deep into like culture and tradition okay but you're not gonna sit and say like marriage is like a top top most do you listen to that top most i had that priority right there like for a man for a young lady or a young guy like if a lady is like in her let me say like you in your 20s people are people are looking like when is she gonna get married when is she gonna get married that one is she ever gonna get married is she gonna get married? then you hit thirties. oh my god looks like you just committed a crime okay people go and say all kind of stuff as to why you can't get married that one can she get married <laughs> that one can she get married <laughs> all her friends all her mates are married <laughs> she's here she's not married even if you like in your 40s and you're strong like career woman okay they still have a problem with that <laughs> that one <laughs> her career busy busy body body she don't carry career put on for head like saying no, wait, marriage, she not go married. Mm -hmm. She not go married. Mm -hmm. Career woman. Career woman. <laughs> you ain't hear like those mothers telling you like, hmm. when I was at your age, okay, I got married at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. And I started having children at the age of 18, okay. So, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? When you... It's like a constant, constant like reminder in your ear. I don't know why. Like why? Why is it like that? do we have to get married it's not a must okay if you choose to get married that's your personal decision but i think this is the reason why a lot of people a lot of young guests today have to like just jump into that thing because you're just worried about what society will say let me tell you guys let me tell you this thing okay i've literally been in a gathering where this young young they're all africans okay africans because only us Africans can think like that because of the pressure that comes to like you being like in your 30s and not married, okay? <laughs> Talk less of you being in your 40s, okay? Like, these women were literally, let me call it women because they were like in their 30s, okay? Literally worried about getting married. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I'm getting old, I'm getting old. I need to get married, I need to get married. What? Why the rush? Why would you want to rush and get into something that you know? prepared for you know what i mean and like i say if you meet the wrong person your own don't finish <laughs> your own don't finish and you meet out the wrong person <laughs> they will ruin your life finish <laughs> then you'll be like <laughs> what was i <that> thinking <laughs> so this has made like a lot of young girls like to just jump into marriage just because of pressure okay just because you're worried about hey all my friends are married though hmm, i'm not married hmm, what will people say what will society say what well, it's high time you start living your life instead of living life for society like why would you worry about what people will say what people has to say about your life has nothing to do with you okay make the decisions that you want to make for your life if you make a mistake you're going to learn from the mistake okay that's how life is okay a lot of people have to literally fall in order to get up have you not seen people get married in their 40s and 50s why the rush Oh, 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 this one, the Cambridge Maiden post, she's treated for her parents, how she never married. When are you going to get married? 
you pass by some group of women okay <laughs> if you're from africa and you pass him by and they look and they say hey this is one she's still living in her parents house when is she going to get married people are coming to ask for her hand in marriage hmm? madam selective 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 keep selecting sometimes you don't even know you have no idea no clue what is going on behind you okay but that's how people are talking behind you but you have no clue you're just living your life okay like yeah i want to talk talk i'm living my life i'm living my life okay but i'm just saying like you know what i mean in western words like who who, who got time for that okay who got time for that you don't want to get married that's your business you don't want to have a child that's your business okay that's your business ha huh, in african african home african culture your own don't finish your own don't die but all I'm saying is like, live your life the way you want to live your life. Because you know what? On that last day, okay, is you that's going to stand there. Society is not going to stand behind you and be like, yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there pressurizing her to get married. I was there. Or when your marriage is going to fail, okay? You're not going to see nobody from society standing there and say, yes, I was there. I rushed her. I rushed her. I was there. No. You're going to atone for your own sins. You're going to bear the consequences of whether you get married early or you get married in your 40s. All those people pressurizing you, all society, not going to be it. I'm just saying, they're not going to be there, okay, to defend you or to even watch your back. Be wise. I'm just saying. And yeah, leave people alone, okay? Let people make their personal decisions. Forget what society says, okay? Who, who, who created society? Who created all these rules? Human beings. So you are a human being. Make your own decision and make wise decisions. I'm just saying, I'm just keeping it real, 100% as always. I'll see you guys in the next video.